get ready for a journey into a world of sensory overload, where sugar meets novelty and flavor takes on a new dimension. Welcome, candy enthusiasts, to a sweet adventure that fizzes, pops, and crackles in your mouth. Today, we're diving into the irresistible universe of Pop Rocks, those tiny, effervescent candies that have been tantalizing taste buds and capturing hearts since their accidental discovery in the 1950s. Join us as we unravel the fascinating history, the science behind the pop, and the cultural impact of this iconic treat. From its initial introduction in the 70s to its resurgence in the 21st century, Pop Rocks have become more than just a candy. They're a symbol of fun, nostalgia, and the unexpected. So get comfortable as we explore the story behind the candy that explodes in your mouth and takes your taste buds on a fizzy, flavorful journey like no other. Whether you're a lifelong fan or discovering the magic for the first time, get ready to experience the joy controversy, and innovation that make Pop Rocks a timeless sensation. This candy's unique and fascinating history intertwined with innovation and marketing and created a huge cultural impact. This is the Pop Rocks Chronicles, a celebration of a candy that has continued to pop its way into the hearts of candy lovers around the globe. Let's explore the story behind Pop Rocks, from their accidental discovery to their rise in popularity and enduring status as a quirky cultural phenomenon. In 1956, the dynamic landscape of the confectionery world witnessed an unexpected twist, courtesy of the brilliant mind of chemist William A. Mitchell. At the time, Mitchell was fully immersed in the innovative environment of the General Foods Corporation, where his mission was to concoct something revolutionary an instant carbonated drink that could quench thirst on the spot. Little did he know that like so many other inventions before his, a failure would create an iconic product. His pursuit of a bubbly beverage would lead to the creation of a candy that would forever change the way we experience sweetness. Pop Rocks. Mitchell's journey into the realm of carbonation started with the fundamental idea of dissolving gas into a liquid a principle well-known in the world of beverages. However, as he delved into his experiments, the unexpected occurred. Rather than achieving his goal of a liquid refreshment, Mitchell stumbled upon a confectionery anomaly, a solid candy that encapsulated the effervescence and excitement of carbonation. The process that Mitchell devised involved introducing carbon dioxide gas into a flavored syrup under high pressure. This mixture, under carefully controlled conditions, was then allowed to cool and solidify. The result was a candy that, when consumed, didn't just melt or dissolve. It erupted into a symphony of miniature pops and crackles in the mouth. Despite its departure from the initial goal of a carbonated beverage, Mitchell recognized the potential of his accidental creation. The candy's unique texture and sensory experience were unlike anything on the market. Because it was the 50s and humans were still easily amused without smartphones, the creation was fascinating. A confectionery delight that fizzed and popped, engaging not just the taste buds, but also the sense of touch and sound. Mitchell's invention, however, did not make an immediate impact. The world was not quite ready for a candy that defied traditional expectations. The concept of carbonated candy was ahead of its time, and Mitchell's invention lay dormant for over two decades. Despite the intriguing nature of Mitchell's creation, it didn't make a significant impact at the time. Fast forward to the late 1970s, when the concept was revived by a company called General Foods. The company refined the formula and branded the candy as Pop Rocks, releasing it in 1975. The initial flavors included strawberry, green apple, and cherry. Pop Rocks were introduced with an innovative marketing campaign that emphasized the unexpected and exciting sensation they offered. Television commercials featured people popping the candy in their mouths, with the sound effects accentuating the popping experience. The tagline, the candy that explodes in your mouth, captured the attention and curiosity of consumers. 
Although with the innocence lost in our culture, this slogan would probably not work in current times. Pop rocks quickly gained popularity, especially among children and teenagers. The candy's unique sensory experience, coupled with its playful marketing, made it a hit. However, its rapid success also led to rumors and urban legends that added an element of controversy. One of the most famous myths claimed that consuming Pop Rocks with soda could be fatal. The rumor suggested that combining the candy with carbonated beverages in the stomach would cause an explosive reaction, leading to serious health issues or even death. The concern became so widespread that the Food and Drug Administration FDA, had to issue an official statement debunking the myth and assuring the public of the candy's safety. Despite the initial controversy, Pop Rocks became a cultural phenomenon. The candy found its way into various aspects of popular culture, including music, television, and literature. In 1979, Pop Rocks made a memorable appearance on the television show The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson, where Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon shared a bowl of the candy with the audience. Musicians also embraced the quirky candy. The rock band Aerosmith featured Pop Rocks in their music video for the song Sweet Emotion. The candy's association with pop culture further fueled its popularity, turning it into a symbol of fun and excitement. Despite its initial success, Pop Rocks faced challenges in the 1980s. Changes in ownership and marketing strategies led to a decline in the candy's popularity. By the mid-1980s, Pop Rocks had largely disappeared from the market. And let's be honest, most people don't buy candy for a fizzly little novelty. They want concentrated sugar, not a little packet of dust that makes funny sounds in your mouth. Thankfully for this video, however, the story of Pop Rocks didn't end there. In the 1990s, a resurgence of interest in nostalgic and retro products prompted a revival of the candy. New flavors were introduced, and Pop Rocks found its way back onto store shelves, appealing to both a new generation and those who remembered the candy from its earlier heyday. Over the years, Pop Rocks has continued to evolve. The brand has introduced various flavors including watermelon, tropical punch, and bubblegum. In addition to the traditional small packets, larger packaging and new product formats such as Pop Rocks chocolate bars have been introduced to cater to different consumer preferences. Innovations in packaging and marketing have also played a role in keeping Pop Rocks relevant. Limited edition releases, collaborations with other brands, and interactive packaging that enhances the consumer experience have contributed to the candy's continued appeal. As we enter the 21st century, Pop Rocks remained a beloved and quirky treat. The candy has become a staple at nostalgic-themed events and parties, where it serves as a conversation starter and a source of shared memories. The internet and social media have further contributed to the enduring popularity of Pop Rocks. Fans share their experiences, memories, and creative uses for the candy on platforms like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. The candy has become a source of inspiration for DIY projects, recipes, and even mixed drinks showcasing its versatility and timeless appeal. From a scientific perspective, the process that makes Pop Rocks pop is intriguing. The candy's unique texture results from the incorporation of pressurized carbon dioxide gas into the candy mixture during the manufacturing process. When the candy comes into contact with moisture, such as saliva in the mouth, the pressurized gas is released in the form of small, popping bubbles, creating the characteristic sensation. The incorporation of carbonation into candy was a breakthrough that showcased the potential for innovation in the food industry. While Pop Rocks may be one of the most famous examples, the concept of incorporating gas into food products has been explored in various ways, leading to the creation of other fizzy candies and snacks. Pop Rocks have left an indelible mark on popular culture. The candy's unique combination of sensory experience, marketing prowess, and enduring appeal has made it more than just a sweet treat. It's a symbol of nostalgia, playfulness, and the unexpected. In the realm of food and confectionery, Pop Rocks paved the way for other innovative and unconventional products. The success of Pop Rocks demonstrated the potential for thinking outside the box, or pack it in this case, when it comes to creating unique and memorable food experiences. 
The story of Pop Rocks is a tale of accidental discovery, marketing brilliance, controversy, and enduring popularity. From its humble beginnings as a failed experiment in the 1950s to its revival and continued success in the 21st century, Pop Rocks have proven to be more than just a candy. They're a cultural phenomenon. The candy's ability to create a fizzy, popping sensation in the mouth captured the imaginations of consumers and became a source of joy and excitement. Despite facing challenges and rumors that could have spelled the end for Pop Rocks, the candy has persevered, finding its way back into the hearts and mouths of a new generation. As we continue to explore and appreciate the diverse landscape of confectionery, Pop Rocks stands as a testament to the power of innovation, the impact of effective marketing, and the enduring appeal of experiences that tickle the senses. Whether enjoyed by those who remember its initial release or discovered by a new generation, Pop Rocks remain a delightful and effervescent part of the candy landscape.